In recent years, the advancements in space exploration have been nothing short of extraordinary, and a major player at the forefront of these advancements is SpaceX. SpaceX has been making notable progress on both the booster and the launch mount in anticipation of the 33-engine static fire test. And it finally happened. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last week, Starbase was a hub of activity. Booster 9 was mounted onto the orbital launch mount. For the first time since Starship's orbital flight on April 20th, this booster was filled with liquid oxygen and nitrogen for engine testing without ignition. Another remarkable upgrade is the introduction of the hot staging ring. Positioned atop the super heavy booster, this device acts as a shield, safeguarding the booster from exhaust and force when the second stage engines activate. This development was essential following challenges encountered during the April launch. The hot staging ring is nearing its final developmental phase, and yesterday SpaceX lit up all 33 engines of the Starship in an impressive test that came after the integrated flight test. The test day began with the team at SpaceX commencing the fueling process in the early morning hours. The rocket was to be filled with its necessary fuel, a mixture of liquid oxygen and methane, to prepare for the big test. During this complex fueling procedure, a problem was identified with the cooling lines. These lines are essential for keeping the rocket's fuel at the correct temperature. If the fuel were to become too warm, it could cause problems during ignition. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, a specialist team known as the Red Team was called in. These experts were tasked with identifying the issue with the cooling lines and fixing it on the spot. The Red Team worked for several hours, inspecting the cooling lines and carrying out the necessary repairs. Once they were confident that the lines were functioning correctly and the fuel was being kept at the proper temperature, the fueling process was resumed. Before proceeding further, the team took extra time to ensure that the fuel lines were adequately chilled. This step was vital to guarantee that the fuel would remain at the right temperature until the moment of ignition, ensuring a safe and successful test. A magnificent sight followed. Finally, all 33 of the Raptor engines roared to life. It was, however, not without hiccups. Four of the 33 engines, for reasons that would later be analyzed by SpaceX's team, did not sustain their burn and shut down earlier than expected. This meant that instead of a full five-second burn, the test concluded in just 2.74 seconds. For any other industry, a problem like this might be seen as a big mistake. But when you're building rockets, even the tiniest mistake can lead to big problems. So the fact that 29 out of 33 engines worked perfectly is really impressive. While everyone was excited about the loud noise from Booster 9's engines yesterday, another significant event unfolded at the launch pad simultaneously, the water deluge system. A critical part of modern rocket launch infrastructure, this system plays a pivotal role in ensuring the safety and durability of the launch pad. Only a week prior, on July 27th, SpaceX had showcased this system in all its glory at their Starbase facility in Boca Chica. We all witnessed an awe-inspiring sight. Vast amounts of water shooting upwards from below the orbital launch mount, forming a towering fountain that lasted for about 40 seconds. While this alone was a magnificent display, the true capability of this system goes far beyond this test. It's believed that during actual Starship launches, the system could unleash a staggering 350,000 gallons, or 1.3 million liters of water, making it an integral part of SpaceX's ambitious plans. The primary function of this water deluge system is twofold. Firstly, it absorbs a significant chunk of the intense exhaust heat and force from the rocket's engines, protecting the launch pad from potential damage. Secondly, it aids in reducing the number of harmful airborne particles released during a launch, ensuring the safety of the environment and equipment nearby. During yesterday's engine test, the efficacy of this system was evident. Instead of the typical dust cloud that is often associated with static fire tests, a vast steam cloud emerged and quickly dissipated. The sheer power that 33 engines can produce has been a subject of speculation for a while. Musk's reference to a rock tornado during a previous test flight highlights the challenges. 
The forces generated had sent concrete and debris thousands of feet into the air, causing extensive damage to the surroundings. The introduction of steel plates and the new water deluge system is SpaceX's answer to handling these extreme forces, and this test was the first real-world application. SpaceX's next step is gearing up for Starship's much-anticipated orbital flight test. Musk had stated that the second orbital launch could be as soon as the end of this summer. However, recent developments from the FAA cast a shadow over these ambitions. Three months after SpaceX's initial Starship launch ended in a dramatic explosion above the Gulf of Mexico, the company has yet to submit its concluding accident report to the Federal Aviation Administration. This crucial document is key to the investigation, and its absence indicates that the Starship program remains, for now, grounded. This further implies that a second launch attempt this summer is becoming increasingly uncertain. The FAA confirmed on Wednesday that they are still in the process of waiting for this report. This document will dictate the corrective measures SpaceX has to undertake before they are granted another launch clearance from their Boca Chica site. The FAA spokesperson didn't give a clear date for when things might move forward. They said that SpaceX still has things to do to ensure everyone's safety, and that will decide how long everything takes. This is making everyone, especially SpaceX fans, pretty anxious and eager to see what happens next. But we should remember that with big new projects like this, bumps in the road are expected. The rigorous checks and the need for corrective measures are all in the interest of safety and long-term success. But beyond the technological advancements, Starship's success or failure has larger implications. With the ongoing developments and challenges faced by NASA and the increasing global competition in space exploration, notably from China, the performance of private players will influence the direction and priorities of global space policy. China is closely monitoring these developments. With their Tiangong space station and aspirations for lunar missions and Mars explorations, they're keen to find their position in this new space race. A report from the Chinese Academy of Sciences suggests that while NASA's budget remains significant, the potential increase might not be as impactful due to inflation in the U.S. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.